time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And Richard, are text messages making a little less sense these days? There could be a reason for that. Uh, it's the autocorrect, Erica, which uh, always caused us some trouble, uh, but apparently is causing people even more trouble now that Apple has put out their newest iOS update. This new update has apparently changed uh, the autocorrect for the worse, according to some. Some users online are saying that this has, quote, ruined their lives because they're sending uh, gibberish messages. Uh, one social media user claiming that her device attempted to change the word burden to Biden. Uh, others say uh, that it adds a Z when looking for an apostrophe, all sorts of weird things like that. Apple not commenting on any alleged autocorrect problems with its new software update, but it does say you can add phrases to the autocorrect and you can even turn it off altogether. Uh, my phone always thinks I'm trying to send the word uh, duck, uh, right. Erica, and I'm not. Uh, but maybe it's maybe it's for the best that it autocorrects that. Do you have issues yeah, with the I autocorrect? So. I'm, well, yeah, it's, it's always gibberish when I'm texting my friends, and I don't even realize it. I just hit send, and then I read it over, and I'm like, how? D but they've, they've <laughs> learned to decode my text messages. <laughs> okay, Toronto has finished in the top spot on one particular list, but unfortunately, not nothing to be proud of, Richard. No, it's the, it's the list of uh, little bugs that suck your blood in the night, uh, Erica. We are apparently the bed bug capital of the world. This is a, or bed bug capital of Canada, at least. This is according to pest control company Orkin, which is out with its cities in Canada that have this biggest problem. Toronto, number one. Winnipeg, number two on the list. Montreal and Calgary, apparently, much better off. Didn't crack the top ten. Orkin says the hard-to-kill pests have become a much bigger problem in North America over the past 20 years. They note that they can easily hitch a ride with you back home as they're sometimes found on airplane seats, bus seats, or hotel room beds. This is kind of my worst nightmare, Erica, is finding uh, bed bugs. I don't envy anyone that's going through that, do you? Yeah, I know. I'm going to have nightmares about that tonight. Uh, <laughs> they often make kids cringe with embarrassment, but perhaps dad jokes aren't so bad after all. Love the dad jokes, Erica. And yeah, there's actually a study on this in a British health journal that found the uh, benign, uh, corny, uh, sometimes embarrassing jokes your dad tells you might actually be good for kids. It teaches them, they say, how to overcome awkwardness. Uh, experts say the jokes put kids in situations where they can practice their social skills. You know, Erica, I know a bunch of uh, really good uh, dad jokes about umbrellas, but, uh, you know, they tend to go over people's heads. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> but seriously, did you did you hear the one about the surgeon who enjoys perfor performing uh, quick operations on insects? Uh, he did one on the fly. Oh goodness! You know what, Richard? We've unfortunately run really out of time, here. so I don't know if we could, we have time for the rest of <laughs> your goodness. dad jokes. But <laughs> Thank we'll just end it there. I think. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs>